Hey guys, welcome to Anderton's TV and the Falcon's Nest. I am the Maltese Falcon, aka Chris, and I'm here with Mr. Jack Duxbury. Today, we're gonna to be diving a little bit deeper into the Townsend Sphere, because we touched up upon it last time, and I kind of let it slip that it also does a little bit of stereo, so we're gonna be experimenting with some guitar, some stereo miking. Let's just get into it. Before we get started, I'd just like to let you know that we are currently running a competition for our 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, then you're already in the competition. So just bear in mind for when we reach 100,000 subscribers. So let's get started with this mic. So first of all, it's a single mic. How do you get stereo out of it? Well, we've got one cable that actually splits into two XLRs. So we're re technically recording the front and the back side of the microphone separately. And that allows us to change the polar patterns and, and all of that stuff in post if we want to. For the meantime, we're gonna show off how this allows us to record in stereo. So as it's kind of labeled now, you might not see it on the front of the mic. There's just a little single circle. And then on the side of the mic here, we have like two in, uh, overlapping circles. So what that means is when we wanna use the stereo feature of this. We just got to turn this 90 degrees to the side. And now we're, what that means is now both sides of the capsule on the microphone are kind of away. So if you had to pick up both sides separately and you pan them, you'd kind of get this like very fine X, Y, you know, bit of width. But for the sake of the example, we're not going to get super detailed, but let's just give it a listen and see what it sounds like in stereo. Since in the last video we talked about how this microphone can model different microphones, for the sake of the fact that we're using an acoustic guitar, I want to go for something slightly different to your large diaphragm condenser. So I've just picked up these small pencil condensers, which is the 451s by AKG, I believe. Because the sound isn't super broad in terms of like lows and highs, it's got a, quite a mid-focus frequency. This works very well with the guitar and very well to show off this stereo feature. Just so you can hear what's actually going on in the microphone, we've got it monitoring now. And if I speak into this side, you hear it in one. And if I speak into this side. <laughs> you hear it in the other. So it's it's kind of, you know, it's it's doing this. Faux stereo. stereo. Faux stereo, yeah. So it's basically doing like a faux stereo kind of thing. Well, it is. But it is. It, it is. As I understand it, like you said, it was like a tight XY. Often, we I've only ever done stereo with two microphones. Yeah. So this is blowing my mind already. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the things is phase coherence, right? As soon exactly. as you start pulling them apart, you'll get a more exaggerated, wider image. Yep. So for example, more lows from this bit and more highs from this bit on an exactly. acoustic. Uh, but then when you collapse it into mono, you'd get phases. So this, I'm assuming, is perfectly in phase. Yeah, it is. But saying that, because you're technically recording off axis, you might have to do a little bit of adjustment in the software just to make sure oh, when you- Let's get into it, come on. All right, let's record a little bit of guitar. Great. If I rotate this to the front, what? Get it in. This, mono. I mean, what palaver has <laughs> just been saved? <laughs> I want to hear it. Come on. Let's go. Activate. Feeling so all right now, yeah. So we're going to hear stereo acoustic and then we'll hear yeah, the mono, mono one, right? Come yeah. on, headphones on. Wow. So I would say the mono is definitely a bit more focused because you got that way more, you know, front of that capsule. But then the stereo one, if you're in a mix and you just need a little bit of difference on the sides, you don't want it to sit right in the middle. You've got that can we, width. Just for the dweeb in me, I don't know if this will make the video, but can we like put the mono, like the gain plug in on and mono that stereo so I can hear how yeah. it collapses? Of course, yeah, yeah. 
Because a lot of what I worry about, so that's so perfectly, I can feel it a little bit in the left and right. I could sit a vocal in the middle, but I want to hear how it collapses into mono. Let's hear it. So this is, let's hear it in stereo and then I'll flip it into mono. Doesn't get all weird and comb oh. filtery. Yeah, yeah. So I've been really struggling with that recently. Because uh, I, I, uh, we had it on the Behringer video. I genuinely believe so much content is being consumed in mono, essentially yeah, on, on mobile phones, phones that uh, we really need to check the compatibility. But that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. And obviously that's excluding the fact that we can change all the mic types alongside that. So if you and turn, the pickup you know, patterns of those. Can, so that's let's stick with the stereo amazingness of yep. it. Let's swap some mics digitally. Yep if we can, mm. and also the pickup patterns, like can we get more of the room in? Yeah, so obviously because you're only dealing with one mic, then that whole concept of like having different pickup patterns and, and spaces between the mics, you know, different ways you set up stereo, you're a bit more limited. In this case we can, so I'll take the mono plugin off, so you can actually change the polar pattern, but as you can see here, this starts to be a bit of kind of overlap and not necessarily phasing out, but it's just going to be picking up the same thing on each side pretty much. So uh, we can experiment with how it sounds and then, mm -hmm. you know, see how it, how it falls down. Starting off here, what we're normally listening to is, is the basic, is just your cardioid stereo. Uh, if I flick it into Omni, for example, this is what we get. in a bit closer. A bit drier, a bit tighter, you know. It's revolutionary. It's quite good. It's quite good. And it, it sounds good. It sounds great. Let's, can I hear like a different type of, because uh, I actually got a pair of these. I use them on hi-hats. Yeah. Okay, let other, I mean 414? 414, a classic. Let's go this one. This is like your, your bog standard 414. A bit more, bit more pick, you know, a bit yeah. more like, and if we want it a bit brighter, we can go for this 414, which is more like the C12 capsule or whatever. Oh, wow. Ever powerful. so slightly brighter, you know, like. Well, you just showed it off. Yeah. It's a great bit of kit, you know, and it's so. Stereo mic in with one, one mic, mic that you can change into any mic that's in there. You can monitor in real time and change after the fact. Yeah, yeah. Jeez Louise. It, if it was up to me, I would have two of these and I would have true stereo or like double stereo if you really want to go there. But, um, but the amount of control you have with one, let alone two, is quite, quite amazing. Wow. Nice one, man. Cheers. And then the what do you fancy for lunch? Oh. US. Slims has always been the classic. Are we feeling you feeling Slims? Slims in a rainy day? I like Slims. Yeah, come on, Slim Chickens, baby. <laughs> Any representatives who know anyone from Slim Chickens, we're looking for an endorsement, okay? <laughs> Slim Chickens is the best food you can eat in Guildford. Yeah!